With the emergence of doctors like the Toe Bro and Dr. Nail Nipper, it's apparent that people love seeing ingrown nail removals and other podiatry procedures. And hundreds of thousands of people every year suffer from ingrown nails. But there is still a stigma about the condition. Good medical morning, I'm Watson, and today I'm going to attempt to remove the stigma from having ingrown nails. First, can you tell me how many people watched this Tobro video to date? 9 million, 19 million, 29 million, or 39 million? Stick around for the answer. So, what causes ingrown nails? I'll answer that while you watch some ingrown nail videos. According to WebMD, ingrown nails are most frequently caused by cutting your nails too short, rounding the nail edges too much, or by wearing ill-fitting shoes or tight hosiery that press the nail into your toe. You can also develop an ingrown nail after an injury, such as stubbing or jamming your toe. If the condition causing the ingrown toenail continues, overgrowth of the tissue over the nail can lead to permanent changes in the tissue that can cause infection, more pain, and more swelling. And when should you talk to your doctor about your ingrown nails? WebND says to see a doctor if the ingrown nail becomes infected, the pain doesn't go away after attending to the nail, or your nails are so hard or thick that you cannot relieve the condition. Medical intervention is needed especially for people with diabetes, who are at risk for complications from foot infections. Do we have any diabetes patients watching? Leave us a comment below. So what are common treatments for ingrown nails? Most ingrown nail problems can be prevented with proper grooming of the toes and by wearing better fitting shoes. Try to reduce pressure on the toe by wearing sandals or by not wearing a shoe for several days. Avoid trimming the corner of the toenail unless you can easily see and clip the corner of the nail. Otherwise, this can lead to a worsening of the ingrown toenail. So back to our nail trivia question. How many views does this toe bro video have? The answer is 19 million views as of summer of 2020. Not bad, Tobro, not bad. Lastly, can anyone name the movie with this Adam Sandler foot clip? Leave a comment below with your answer. The hideousness of that foot will haunt my dreams forever. Oh yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, that's it! Ah! Oh! You sick! You sick! Why would you do that to me? I'm just kidding you, fella. <laughs> I try my best to help educate and guide discussion about various medical conditions. So if you enjoy these videos, please click subscribe. Also, take a look at Restmore Natural Sleep Aid. I personally use it and support Restmore for natural, restful sleep. And here's a fun testimonial about it. Now, yes, I do use a pill, but it's not, um, you know, it's not prescription. It's not habit forming. It's called Restmore. And yes, when they say Restmore, they're not kidding. And what I usually do is I take this about 20 to 30 minutes before I go to sleep. With, uh, and of course I take it, you know, with water, well, I have my tea, but I also take it with water. And let me tell you something, I've been quite pleased with them. I have seen just really work, at least for me anyway. You may have to do something different, but I thought I would share with you something that just really helps me get that seven to eight hours of good quality sleep. Now, another note, if you do try the rest more, you do have to let it build up in your system a couple of days. You know, you're not gonna just drop off sleep instantaneously or anything like that. You, you need to take it for at least about five consecutive nights to really get it built up into your system. You know, to get, you know, desired effects. And with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and have a good night's sleep. Have a good one. When you just need more rest, there's rest more. For better, more restful sleep, make it part of your nighttime routine.